now let me look at my skin this is such an amazing facial mask right now just take a look at this cheeks you can see it looks like it's swollen and look at this one it's a little dropped down but it's not swollen it is the mask that i'm using on my skin Now to make the skin firming mask, I'm going to start out with the liquid and my first ingredient is milk. I'm using fresh milk to dye. However, if you're vegan, go ahead and use some soy milk. Milk is rich in lactic acid. It will help to get rid of dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. It also contains hydrating properties which help to hydrate the skin. I'm using about two tablespoons of the milk pouring this in the bowl and now I'm going to move on to my second ingredient. My second ingredient is honey. Honey is a humectant, help to lock the moisture in the skin. It also have antibacterial properties which help to get rid of blackheads, whitehead and acne on the skin. I'm going to dissolve a teaspoon of the honey in the milk and I'm mixing well. Once this is done, I'm going to reach for some rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil is rich in vitamin A, up to boost collagen and reduce wrinkles on the skin. I'm using a teaspoon of rosehip oil and I'm mixing this in the milk and the honey. So here in our bowl, we have milk, we have honey, and we have some rosehip seed oil. Next, I'm going to reach for some aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel have the clear hyperpigmentation, hydrates the skin, clear the skin of grease and dirt. It also helps the skin to look younger and fresher and boosts collagen production. I'm using one tablespoon of aloe vera. You can choose to use the fresh aloe vera gel in this recipe also. And now we are going to mix and we are mixing well. Mixing milk, honey, rosehip seed oil and aloe vera gel. This is our liquid for our anti-aging facial mask. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this aside and move on to my powder. My first ingredient is a flour and I'm using plain white flour. Whether you're going to use self rice or just regular flour, that's all you need. Two tablespoons of flour. We're using the flour in this recipe as the skin firmer. This is what's going to help your skin to be tight, firm, lifted when mixed with the other ingredient. Now here I have some matcha powder and I'm using this for its anti Accident. It's anti-aging properties. How to reduce wrinkles, boost collagen and elastin, smooth the skin, help your skin to have that healthy, natural glow. Now for this recipe, if you do not have the matcha powder, go ahead and use some green tea. Blend the green tea to a powder and it's now ready for this recipe. If you're using regular tea, go ahead and use about two tablespoons since the matcha is more highly concentrated. Now, once we pour this in the flour, I'm going to mix the two dry ingredients together. So here I'm mixing white flour and some matcha powder. If you're using the green tea, you're mixing flour and green tea. I have a third a dry ingredient in the form of vitamin C. I'm getting my vitamin C today from dried orange peel powder, which is rich in vitamin C oil and is also great for the skin. Clear pigmentation, hydrates the skin, get rid of pimples on the skin, leave the skin with that natural glow. I'm using a teaspoon of the orange peel powder and I'm going to add this to the bowl with the rest of the dry ingredients. So dry ingredients are two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of matcha powder, and one teaspoon of orange peel powder. Mix and mix well. Once we completely mix all the three dry ingredients together, what we're going to do next is reach back for our milk mixture. And we're going to slowly pour this in the dry mixture.
Sure. But we're going to pour this in about a tablespoon or so at a time. So here I'm doing just that. And now I just poured my second tablespoon and I'm mixing well. So go ahead and totally mix. This is going to take a while to get creamy, but continue to mix until you get to that creamy consistency. Now this combination of ingredients is ideal for lifting, tightening and firming the skin while boosting collagen and reducing wrinkles and fine lines. This mixture is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin E. It is also great for most skin types since it is rich in antibacterial properties. It is one facial mask that you can use on your face, your neck and your decollete. You can even choose to use this on your hands to soften your your hands now once this is as creamy as this is the mask is ready I like to chill this mask before I use it on my skin however let's reach for a small jar in this is what I'm gonna pour my mask in make sure to pour it in an open more jar so you can get it out pretty easy now let's go ahead and pour and now once this is done the mask is ready to chill and then use on the skin. Apply this mask all over your face, your neck and your decollete. Good to use at least two to three times per week for best result. Let the mask dry on the skin about 30 minutes. Rinse off, preferably with cold water. Pat dry the skin and reveal beautiful looking skin. To reap the best benefit from this mask, I suggest you use it at least twice per week for six weeks straight. At the end of six weeks, you're gonna notice a significant difference to the skin you should notice a significant difference to the skin I use this mask on my skin and it's one of my go-to especially when I have somewhere special going and I want my face to look like I spent the entire day at the spa getting a facial so go ahead whip it up use it up and guess what do some before and after pictures and post them in our comment and also guys share this video that someone out there who are looking to live tighten and firm without spending a large sum of money will see this video get this recipe and use it for amazing result thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye